She said she was tired and she wanted to go home. Cindy Dietrich was one of seven people admitted to the hospital. She got to go home today along with two other people. That leaves four here remaining at the Douglas County Hospital. Hospital officials tell me that they are in fair condition. Now, Cindy was a passenger in the van. She was sitting in the front right behind the front seat passenger. She said when all of a sudden she ended up in a ditch and in the hospital. She said everything happened so fast. As Cindy Dietrich was wheeled out of the hospital today, she said the accident was no one's fault. They were simply blinded by the snow, and when it all cleared... Next thing you know, we saw the snow plow that was right in front of us, and she veered off to the right, trying to miss the snow plow. And we hit the corner, the front left corner of the van with the snow plow. Cindy says the next thing she remembers is her body being thrown to the floor. That's when she passed out. From what other people have told me, that was when the van spun around and was left broadside in the middle of the highway, and that's when the, the, the Greyhound bus came and hit us broadside. The bus, the van, and the snowplow are now in the garage of the Department of Transportation. The van resembles a twisted piece of metal, its left side crushed in from the impact of the bus. And in the front, what appears to be orange paint, indicating that yes, the van did hit the snowplow. Yesterday, investigators were not sure what happened. Today, it is clear. It was not visible. It was just there was a big cloud of snow up there, and, uh, and uh, the, the van drove into that cloud of snow and uh, made contact with the plow. Now, officials haven't been able to talk to the driver of the van just yet. Right now, she is under uh, heavy medication. In the meantime, National Transportation Safety officials are, are now here for their own report, checking if the vehicles met safety standards. How the vehicle, uh, how the vehicle fared uh, during the accident, how the passengers um, uh, responded to the, cr the crash forces. Interviews with surviving victims may shed more light, but one victim's husband says the victims may not be able to help. They're pretty mystified. Yeah, they just, like, uh, my wife doesn't even know there was an accident. She was, she's just kind of in and out. While the official cause may not be known for weeks, there's a chance of legal action against who may be at fault. And any charges to be made will come out of the uh, Douglas County Attorney's Office. Now, every available officer uh, in this region is now working on this case, and they're not the only ones here. There's a whole group of uh, insurance inspectors on hand inspecting for what will likely be a barrage. The were students and instructors of the school. They were headed to the Twin Cities for a field trip. The students who did not make the trip are today trying to deal with their grief and a sense of loss. I'm still trying to be strong for everybody else. I'm trying to pull us all together and make it all work. I'm trying to tell them it's going to be okay. And that the people that are gone are in a better place. And Terry Anderson could have easily been on the van yesterday, but she was short of the class hours needed to make the trip. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk with a brother.